So now we've got our container pretty much built, we just need to add support for singletons. Now a singleton is a class that we only want to instantiate once. So places where this would come in helpful would be, for example, a database wrapper, where we only want to have one uh, database connection, uh, or a router, or a session handler, all the kind of things like that. So to implement this, we're going to create a new protected property called instances, and this is going to be an, ar an array. And this array will hold all of the objects uh, for our singleton. Now in this bind method here, we're going to add a new argument called singleton, and that's going to default to false. And instead of just setting the value, we're going to set an array. We're going to say value equals value and singleton equals singleton. And we're going to just shorten this by using the compact function. It does exactly the same thing. The next thing that I'd like to do is just to add a very quick helper method uh, for creating singletons, and this is just going to help with readability. So we're going to pass in key value, and all we're going to do is return this bind key value true. So let's let's set up some example code inside this run function. I'm going to say this singleton uh, will set foo to foo, and we'll create a test class down here. And we'll just make sure that nothing is broken, which it isn't great. Okay, so if we just add a constructor down here, and we'll echo foo instantiated. So let's call this resolve foo. And we're going to get an error here, because if we go back to this method here, earlier we were just setting this to a string. But now we're setting it to an array, so we need to fix that in our in our resolve method. Uh, so build object. Okay, so we're going to change this to class. And we're going to change this to class, and no, let's keep that at class name, and we're going to set class name to class value. So let's hit refresh. Class foo does not exist. Uh, we need to namespace that. Framework core foo. Hit refresh, and there we go. We get foo instantiated. Now, if we duplicate this line a couple of times, we're going to see this message three times. And we want to fix this, so we're only going to see it one time. So, in this resolve method here, what we want to do is check whether the, the key is a singleton and we're also going to check if the singleton has been resolved. Uh, that probably won't make much sense just yet, but let's uh, let's code this in and hopefully you'll understand as we're doing it. So we're going to say if this is singleton key, and we'll create that method up here. Public function is singleton. And we're going to say, oh, we need to pass in key. We're going to say class equals this get binding key. In fact, we'll change that to binding to make it a bit more readable. We want to make sure that the binding actually exists. So if binding equals null, we're going to return false. And then we're going to return uh, binding singleton equals true. And in fact, we could just get rid of that. So for now, let's just echo true. Hit refresh and great. So the next thing that we need to do is check that the singleton has been resolved, uh, i.e. that the class has been instantiated already. So we're going to say and and this singleton resolved key, and we'll create that method up here as well. Public function singleton resolved key. And all we're going to do is check that the key exists inside this array here. So very simple, we just have to say return array key exists, key this instances. And if it does, we're going to say return this uh, get singleton instance key. And we'll create that up here, public function get singleton instance key. 
we'll first check that it has been resolved, and I've spelt that wrong. Resolved. Just in case it hasn't. So return this singleton resolve key. If it has been resolved, we're going to return, uh, sorry, we're going to return this instance's key. Otherwise, we're going to return null. So this isn't going to make a difference yet because we haven't actually uh, added anything to that instance's array. And that's what we're going to do now. Now, before we get started, I just want to extract all of this code to its own method because this function here is really long and it's kind of unreadable. So we're going to grab all of this and we're going to say args equals this build depend uh, build dependencies. Hopefully I've spelled that right. Uh, what do we need? Let's create the function first. Public function build dependencies and that can be protected actually. Paste that in. And let's just fix that indentation. We need to return args. We need to pass in args, dependencies, and class. So let's do that up here. Args, dependencies, and class. And we can get rid of that now. Uh, okay, that looks much better, in my opinion. Uh, so now we can get on with building our singleton functionality. So up here in our in our resolve method, we're going to set object equal to that. And we're just going to return this prepare object. And we should think of a better name for that. Uh, we'll keep it like that for now. What this will do is check whether the object is a singleton. And if it is a singleton, we're going to add the object to this instance's array. So we'll add that function just here. Protected function, prepare object, object. And actually, we're also going to have to pass in the key. So I'll do that. Uh, and what we're going to say is if this is singleton key, this instance's key equals object and then we're just going to simply return object now hopefully if everything went according to plan if we refresh now we should only see one of these perfect so now we can just get rid of all of this and we're ready to move on